Um, I think for me, um, I mean, it's always meaningful to have people that are like-minded and, and doing similar work to your that you're doing. But I think the the thing that sticks out in my mind is seeing people working on very different issues in a diff in a very different way, very creative ways, and just kind of that's what's kind of inspiring me to go out and maybe try different things myself. I would say the way the the whole event was put together by Salt was mm -hmm. in absolutely an eye-popping experience. They've done a tremendous job and that was the number one thing which has really stuck out. Uh, what were some that were particularly relevant or surprising that really brought out something like, like uh, I, don't, I know Oprah says sometimes like aha moments, but something that really changed kind of the way you thought about your own work or about the community or our future, anything mm -hmm. like that? Uh, for me, I think it was when we were in one of the sessions and actually Hamid had talked about um, a time when um, he had he was working with somebody who was a victim of a hate crime and how he actually instead of instead of going when you're going through the court process instead of actually um, sen sentencing that person um, you know, having them serve some jail time he actually brought that person into his organization and that really changed that person's viewpoint as to you know how he felt about those people and that's really what we're we're, we're trying to do anyway mm -hmm. so that was just a very interesting great way to do things and I think that helps us to think about how working with especially a lot more with domestic violence um, how we can really engage maybe the other side of it to change to, to promote some change okay, that's great. for me I would say the the workshop it was the how to be an effective spokesperson for your organization right. Right. was very very learning uh, and I picked up a lot from that Okay, great. That's wonderful. So, um, as you as you know, the South Asian Summit brings together people from all over the country. All are from Michigan. Um, what do you, what do you think um, a space like this allows you to do to bring back to your community um, one that is an emerging South Asian community? Yeah, I think um, the it's it's a quite a learning curve, and uh, as we want to take the next step uh, forward. Uh, looking at the energy level and looking at the amount of resources available at our disposal, uh, we can look forward to say, yeah, we can put our hands on and uh, once we have an idea, we know how to give a shape to it. So this has really opened up the, uh, the quantum of information available out here. Oh, Singh, what is your personal call to action from the summit? Um, <laughs> my personal call to action would be to get more civically involved in the government, local government, um, to meet with, to maybe set up some meetings um, with our organization and try to work a little bit more on that level to build, you know, to make them aware of some of the issues that their community is facing. I would uh, share what uh, Mona just said is the participation and the most importantly from my personal point of view, the, the one which I'm taking back with me is responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make a difference, one should take the responsibility and be involved. Mm -hmm. And can I ask you a question, sorry, unrelated to the summit in particular? Oh, go ahead. Um, oh, <laughs> things are really, um, uh, Can you tell me a little bit just about um, you or your family's immigration history here in the United States? Um, if you don't mind. Unlike a lot of people who are in Michigan right now, I was born in Michigan. Mm -hmm. My father came to Michigan as a graduate student at Michigan State, and I've been there ever since. Um, so, and I have a family there as well. Um, my husband's actually an immigrant. He came in the 80s from India, but um, yeah, we're still in Michigan. Okay, this is great. <laughs> You must love it. Like. <laughs> My story is slightly different. I came at the age of 18, mm -hmm. uh, way back in 62, and I went to, for engineering, I went to University of Missouri uh -huh. in, near St. Louis, uh -huh. and uh, back and forth, and I, of course, worked as an engineer with Ford Motor Company, did my master's, and uh, mm, I think uh, I would say it's one of the success story with a with lot of hard work, persistence, perseverance, and a lot of value.